Hey guys, welcome to another video with TrekkerTrack.com. Sitting around this weekend, I was thinking, what would be a cool video? You know, people are always asking about rubber tracks. What's inside of a rubber track? Well, some rubber tracks, most rubber tracks have bands that run through them, and then they have the cleats in them. So there's not a whole lot in there but rubber. But I thought, well, let's take a brand new rubber track and cut it in two. Well, what would take it up another notch? How about we take a rubber... <laughs> can't talk. How about we take a brand new rubber track... We hook it to two dozers and we tear it in two pieces. Now here's the consensus. Half the shop thinks that it won't tear it in two and it'll just drag the other dozer. The other half of the shop is with me. They think it's gonna rip it in two. So guys, here we are. We've got the, do we've got the dozer ready to go and we've got the rubber track right here. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple tracks over here that have bit the dust. These are used rubber tracks that have come apart. So, looking here, you're going to see what's inside a rubber track. You've got a big band of wire. And then you have some small wires. So, the wire actually is on the outside. It's right here. And then you got this big band and then you got the cleat so band wire cleat that's the only three things that are inside of this track so it's pretty tough to break the band but that's what it is so wire one piece of wire on the outside the band and another piece of wire A total of five pieces are going to keep this track together cleat bands and wire but what we're going to do is we're gonna try to pull one of these bad boys in two with a very large dozer, which is awesome. So stay tuned. All right guys, the sun is still in my eyes, but we are gonna go out here and we're gonna fire up a 750J. Aaron's out there getting that brand new track drug out. And we're gonna rip this sucker in two. Oh, it's actually a 700, 700 JLGP. I am corrected. It doesn't matter because it's getting ready to move some stuff. Swing this door open and around. Full cage on this bad boy. Oh, let me get in here. Oh, old Michael Simon says I don't know how to run anything. Look at me now. no there is no damage right whatsoever we have this rubber track chained to a d6t being pulled by a 700j and we have yet yet to pull this rubber track apart we're giving it another shot you ready aaron's gonna on the go go Hey guys, welcome to truckertrack.com. So, right now, we're doing the question, how tough is a rubber track? So yesterday, we hooked a 750J LGP. Didn't do anything to it. We had a hook to a D6C, which was just kind of like an anchor for it, but the old wives tale is you could take a rubber track and pull anything with it, it's true. So now, we're gonna go in the shop, and we're gonna take a Sawzall, and see if we can't cut a rubber track in two. So hey, you guys ride this out with me. I'm gonna... Had to cut out the audio. The shop was heckling me the entire time I was trying to cut that track. You know what, folks, people, I just got the comment, if I can get through the track, it can't be that tough. Let's ignore the haters. And let's look at the rubber track itself. So, It's 
Now, Evertrack's made a little bit differently. This one actually has got a layer in it that looks like kind of like a composite wire. It's all the way through, all the way through from one side to the other. Now, I don't know what I hit originally. that I hung up on that stopped cutting. But it is literally like a fiber. And if there is metal in here, I do not see it. Now don't get me wrong, there is a metal cleat in here. I can tell you that. But this brand new rubber track doesn't have any metal in it. It's got like a fiber blend in it. So let's talk about that for a second. So that rubber track actually has like a Kevlar composite in it. And it's woven into the whole track. Now, the track out here that's outside has actually got wires in it, but it doesn't have that composite Kevlar, which is kind of strange because you would think we would have pulled that in two with the 700J and the D6. You would think that composite would not, that Kevlar would have not have been that strong. We would just pull that sucker apart, but we didn't. So that's, that's interesting right there. I didn't know that they did an interwoven Kevlar wrap. So now here's the track that's outside. And this one, you gotta be very careful, but this right here is metal. There is a metal, uh, small piece of metal coming out. So you have metal here, metal here, metal here, and metal here, and then you have a small piece of wire on the outside so totally different way of being made you can see there's there's you know like there's a cable wire wire cable so that was kind of interesting I, I thought we were being kind of insane by cutting up a brand new rubber track and come to find out that one is made totally different so not all rubber tracks are made the same some rubber tracks have wire in them. Some have a Kevlar composite inside of them. So actually kind of cool. So hopefully we answered a few questions. We run a really good track. Steve kind of saw what I was doing, but I don't think he was getting it that I was getting it. Hey guys, wanted to finish up the How Tough is a Rubber Track video. I had to wait till everything was nice and quiet in the shop. We've had a ton of stuff going on right now. I'm gonna grab the camera here at the end to show you two trucks that we're putting snow plows on. But hey, How Tough is a Rubber Track? A rubber track is pretty dang tough. Uh, that rubber track held up to a 700J and it held up to a Sawzall. I also called ITR and asked them what the material was in it. Kev, you know, why the Kevlar or the vinyl or whatever that material was that was holding that track together. They told me that was an old ASV track and I looked back and they were right. The ASV, the wheels are such a uh, how's it, how am I going to say that? Like a, a really hard approach angle. Uh, they have to bend a lot. They have to go around the roller. So a, a metal uh, track will not do that. But that Kevlar material will bend a lot more. So 85 to 90 percent of your rubber tracks these days are going to have the metal in them, like we showed in that one video, or one part of this video. Excuse me. So anyway, awesome video. We had a great time. We showed some of the insides of the materials and a rubber track is pretty dang tough. Also, really quickly, we are getting ready to start shooting the videos on snow plows. So as you can tell right here, uh, the guys have just finished up on a Toyota Tundra on an MD plow, and then this truck right here is getting a uh, V plow, and they have got this tore down. I'd like to shoot a couple videos where you guys can see us actually put the plows on the, from start to finish. So hey, 
Appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate everybody making comments. Leave something down at the bottom. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you can hear when we put out more videos. We're at least going to do one a week, if not two. So, hey, if you begin with the best, you won't need the rest.